Hello everyone and welcome back to the uh, tutorial series about making a shop in Blender and Unity. So I was just uh, thinking about it. So I was just thinking about it and I think I made a small bit of, not a mistake, but I think I just need to improve it a bit. But you know this part, it would have two textures because it's going to open inside. So for that one you would have two textures one for this part wood part and one for the inner part so i think you don't need to do anything for that anyway because uh, let me check uh shift h so you've got these faces so you can just put the wood over there okay that's fine so let's just i'm just gonna show i've downloaded all the textures and I'm just going to show you a quick summary or just explain which text I'm, I'm, I will put all the textures here these are all the textures used and from the website these are all free textures I'm pretty sure I've checked all of them and they are definitely free so from abncg.com I've got these four textures so the metal one is a gold metal so this is going to be for the hinges and the door handle this plastic one is for the wood, wood uh, like if this is for the frame of the door as well as the frame of the windows and the you know the skirtings that I did this plastic uh, material is going to go there what this wo one of these wood is for the door frame and this is for the door like I told you just now the edges the cross section that is going to be made this is going to be for that one one of them is going to be black and the other one is a bit uh, yellowish color so you know like a normal door Apart from that, this shooting marble is going to be for the floor, this texture. This wallpaper 41 is going to be for the four inner wall. So, uh, um, you know what I'm talking about. These tiles are going to be for the ceiling, and this brick wall is going to be for the four outer walls. <coughs> okay, with that out of the way, just take a look and just see what textures I'm using and from where. So, so there's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now with that out of the way, I'm just going to go to Blender now and let's see what I can do. So, first I'm going to make a material like to select this one and go to the material tab and add a new material. Let's call it brick wall material. Okay, so now just go into shading. So you've got select this with the material like this. It's just going to select the material anyway. Just select this, go into shading. This material is going to be open brick wall. So over here on this side, <coughs> shift A, image texture. Okay, keep it there. Now you select this, shift D, copy it once, twice another time and one more time here so I'm going to show you so there's five textures in the pack so there's one the base color there's a um, ambient occlusion one which basically is about the lighting and how it affects the texture texture the third one is roughness the fourth one is this one is going to be for the normal map and this one is going to be for the displacement like how it displaces I don't know I'm not sure I'm going to use this one for the walls well, let's just see how uh, because sometimes the uh, last time I did it, uh, it went weird, so I took off the displacement maps. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this one resources, and for this one, it was brick wall and base color. So it's in that world. So base color is gonna go here. I know it doesn't look that good, but we just we we have to skate it later on, on all the UVs and stuff like that. So you know what? Let's just do it first here. So I selected the front part, select all of it. You unwrap. So over here, let's just open the brick wall texture, so you can see what's going on. So this whole thing. As you can see, it's rotated, so I'm going to press R, X, 90. So I've rotated it, 
uh, 90 degrees and this is what it, it looks like it looks quite bad so now I'm gonna scale it let's just do scale of 5 that's what it looks like does that look good scale of let's say 2 3 4 3 4 let's just do 4 scale of 4 that's what it looks like right now so now let's just go into shading remember scale of 4 that's what I've used. I'm going to use the same scale here, here, and here for when I unwrap the UVs. Uh. Anyway, so now that we've got this one here, so this the second thing is going to be ambient occlusion for the brick wall, AO, PNG. So for the ambient occlusion, th the way to do it is you add, uh, you multiply it with the base color. So let's take the base color off. Shift A, mix RGB. That's I mean I don't know why it happens. I'm not I'm fairly new to this whole thing. Do you, you add these two? You have got a mix RGB for, for him. It's mix. So m you change it to multiply and then put it there. So right now, let's just because there's no lights, it's not gonna be. Well anyways, let's just. Shall I make lights first? Let's just make lights first. So over here a light let's do area light so this is the direction of the light so let's just uh, bring it about here bring it up from the side bring it out to the back of it gz and now from the sides let's just rotate it so that it's like that just scale it out a bit so that the light is a bit. You now let's just do like one more thousand maybe. Let's just see how it looks like. See? So if I was to rotate it a bit, can you see it's a bit? I don't know if it's visible or not. Let's just. So for example, now. This is the texture of how it renders right now with only the uh oh yeah there's another thing that we can do so this is what it looks like right now let's go to rendering uh where's the material okay for the material for this one and yeah there was a thing with over here color space is non-color If I, if I yeah, uh, so it behaves like gets trapped in there. It's not like not trapped, but it's not going in there. So you can see it's fairly darker in certain areas. Over here, it's really I don't know. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. I don't know. I'll put it for one. You can tamper with it to see what looks better. Look, for example, here there is no light trapping. You can see like it's all white. It let us know light escape or whatever. Like it's not. So for example, if I was to rotate the light a bit, there's the light rotation thing. Uh, second. See, it's a lot more light, or there's less shadows inside the spaces. If I was here. see you can see the difference anyways that's what it is it's about how light behaves on the texture space if, like for example inside the bricks it's going to behave different from outside like on the boundaries or the <coughs> bricks itself anyways let's just move on so next texture that we're going to open in the resources is the uh, roughness texture it's also going to be a non-color oh, sorry non-color and this one you take this node for the color and drop it into roughness yeah so the next one that we're going to do is the uh, normal map and over here we're going to do normal map okay so this is the texture we just drag it here it's also going to be non-color and you drag this node into the normal map so if i was to take it off let's see you see it's a it's a bit more apparent what's going on like 
you put that in you can see on the bricks let, let me just take it a bit there which render engine is using cycles but why is it so fast when i was doing it last time it was really slow okay so can you see these small is there a difference i think there is but i'm not sure I'm not sure to be honest. I think there is, but can't tell. Anyways, let's just build, go on to the final one for the bricks. So this one is called a uh, height map. So a height map is it's about displacement. So for this one, you need a displacement. This thing. So the normal for this one goes. The color goes to the normal. This one's non-color, and that is this displacement goes over here. Is it affecting it? Should be. Let me check. You see? Let's see. Let's plug this in. Look over at this one. I think it becomes a bit more transparent. It, it feels like it's going out. Look. You see? It's a bit sharper. I don't know if you can tell anyway so this is the front one done like the material I've done so I'm going to use the same material on, on the on these outer sides for this one this one and this one well I'll have to unwrap them in a different manner remember the scale for the UV was 4 and the rotation was 90 let's just use the same material go to UV editing so press A, press A, you unwrap, okay so it's unwrapped right now properly but scale of 4, huh? oh that looks bad, scale of maybe 2, yeah 2, it's perfect, the scale of 2 look, can you see, it just meets at the edges sometimes, stuff like that, anyways, so but but for but the material is already set up like the older values and stuff like that so you don't need to do anything else for that one okay so for the back one as well you go into uv editing press a press a you unwrap was it the back one which which side is it that we use it oh yeah we, we, have, we have applied the material it's the back outer brick wall and go into UV editing. So you've got the brick wall A A and then R X 90. And then for this one, I'm not sure what the scaling should be. S of 4. Let me check. Yeah, it's the exact same scale. So for the front and the sides, you can see it's the same scale. And from the sides to the back, it's also the same scale. I mean, you can move them around a bit so that it looks nice, like you're going off the edge. Let me check if, if that is possible. So, uh, for example, this one cuts off here. So, if you were to just GX, if you could, you could just play around with it and make it look better yeah, so that's that one done so there's only one side left from the for the brick one apply the material going to UV editing a oh sorry a oh crap you don't need to do that a UV unwrap because these are very simple UVs these are just gray shapes there's nothing else so a s4 that's it is no, this one is too much. I think it's remember like that side as well. I think these ones are similar. So S two. Oh, sorry, that not this. S two. So a scale of two. Just give me a second here. So this is what it looks like right now. So yeah. Uh, let's check the. Let's bump up the light a bit. 
thousand. Let's just do two thousand. Let's put a camera as well. A camera which is like the seven to go top view. Keep it like that, let's see. Drag it up GZ. I'm holding the camera just using the scale for GY. so this is what this is what it looks like if i was to render it that's what it would look like anyways let's just keep uh, keep on here so the next material that i'm going to use is uh i'm going to make a glass material because I i'm really interested in that right now so let's see let's just check something you know for the glass yeah it's closed right definitely close here yeah. because I'm just worried about the glass thing anyways so this one is going to use a material called glass and this one these two are going to use the same material shall I separate them into two or not anyways let's just go to shading for glass material I remember you have to delete the principal BDSF and add a glass BDSF and then just join this to the surface and what else is there? I think that's pretty much it for the glass let's see what it looks like right now can you see through? see? it's reflecting the uh, the light source so it's pretty I think it's working yeah so yeah that's the glass done let's go inside let's go into the uh, what's it called viewport shading see the glass is reflecting but it's also transparent it should be transparent I don't know so let's just do the window frames now so the window frames are going to use the same material as this frame and they're going to use a plastic material let's just call this material frame material frame plastic material So for this one as well, remember that the uh, same thing that we did, image texture, we have you probably have like four or five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's just add mix RGB node here. Let's just add a normal map node here and a displacement node here so this is basic structure you may say okay anyway so let's just go to the resources there's a plastic there's only one plastic that's the one that we're going to use plastic and this one is going to be for the uh, color base color so add that here and then plastic this plastic and this one's going to be the normal G it's roughly I don't yeah this one's not using I think because plastics, I don't know, they don't reflect light, I guess. I'm gonna just let this plug in. And for the roughness, resources, plastic, roughness, roughness goes into this one. Normal, uh, yeah, for the plastic one, I read online like the, it's, it's normal geo, yeah, this one just. In. like I'm not I'm not looking to see how much it changes because it's constantly changing so this is non color non color that's what it looks like let's see. see 
It looks nice. When, once the final render is done, I think it's going to look very well. Okay, so non color, non color. Over here, I think you had a displacement map. Plastic, displacement. Yeah, so just plug this into the normal and the displacement to displacement. And the color is going to be non color. Okay. So, so now we're done with the what blender will be behaving weirdly. So this is what it looks like right now. So the frame, window frame, is going to use the same plastic material. Let's see what it looks like because uh, in the materials tab you can preview what the material looks like sometimes yeah that's what it looks like anyways so we're done with the okay yeah remember uh, the plastic is also going to be for these two plastic material frame see what it looks like Okay, so now what I'm thinking is, because it, I don't know, maybe if I was to go into UV editing, select the door, select here, unwrap here, oh. so if I was to scale it up, would that make any visible difference to the way it looks like? I don't think it's making any difference, so let's just leave it like that. It's plastic, so it's not. It, there's no. It's not like a brick layer where each of these bricks are different, and you have to make sure that they stay the same way. Like throughout. Anyways, let's just go to the. So this is plastic. 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 Glass. Now for this one. For this one, I'm gonna need to. Sorry. Uh, So for this one, I'm going to do Shift H because this one's going to need two, two, uh, what should I call that? Sorry, two materials. Material, let's just say wood, door wood, black. Let's just say wood, black. And another one, let's just call it wood. orange brown whatever orange yellow whatever you like to call it okay so this one's going to use two materials and in edit in edit mode i'm going to assign each one uh, to the current so so the whole thing apart from oh, come on the whole thing apart from this one, 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 this one. So all of the whole thing apart from these edges is gonna be wood black. And these edges, let's see. These four edges, these are going to be wood orange. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's just select this, go into shading. Wood orange, let's just go for wood black first. Which one is wood black? Let's just check. There's two woods, 0 050. 0 050 is the orange one. Orange, yellow, orange, whatever. 051 is the black one. This is what the texture looks like. So, yeah, 051. Uh, image, texture. Da, 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 da. So 
so let's just open it resources wood 051 i believe it was here color so this one has color displacement normal and roughness so no normal geo okay so normal map plug it in here somewhere plug this one here and this one is non color I think my PC is slowing down I might as well just do this makes it a lot easier to work with so I know what I'm doing I'm just going to texture it and then use the rendering later on so which one was it? Uh, 051 displacement and a displacement node displacement node this one goes into the normal and displacement goes here and this one is also non-color <coughs> okay so now we are done zero five one zero five one zero five one zero five one zero yeah so these four and this is what it is okay so now this let's just select the door and go into uv editing select the whole thing over here as well and i think just rx90 I think we just need to scale it a bit. Let me just check the. So the plastic one is the wood color. Let's just R minus 90 to get it back to where it was before, and then scale it to let's say 4, 5. I don't know, this is what it looks like. I don't know, you can play around with it, it looks alright to me. Once it renders it's going to look a bit different. See, I mean it's, you can probably squash it, I don't know, along the X maybe. Anyways, so now I've done the that one, but now I need to do the other ones. Let's just shift and H. So as you can see, it's only a, what the hell is going on here? So this one, why do they have two wood black? Wood orange. Let's just go into the edit mode. There's a alt this is right now it's with black let's assign it to wood orange so this is what it looks like 
put black, wood orange, let's go into shading and wood orange is the one currently selected so for the wood orange material you need to create the whole thing again like for you know like there was like two wood uh, textures resource packs were like four, three four I don't know if everyone has the what's it called I think it was 50 this time no more color no more roughness uh, which one is the color I just plug it into the base color let's see what it looks like see that's what it looks like <sighs> okay so this one is going to be the 50 roughness i don't think there's ambient occlusion on here i don't uh, maybe i think these th these two textures the ones that i'm currently the last two three ones they are from the website um, from one website that's why they don't have the ambient occlusion ones maybe i'm not sure to be honest normal map plug this here plug that there <coughs> resources <coughs> Uh, 0 050 and this one is displacement plug that here color to normal and displacement to displacement now select all these into non-color non-color mm, non-color <coughs> so this is what it looks like right now I don't know if you can. I mean, if I was to use the rendering thing, it's not gonna be that useful because it's gonna only render the. It's not the doors are open in that thing. So, anyways, this is what it looks like. Shall I also rotate the UVs? Let's see how it looks like. It's rotated. so the UV because I have to be really careful that I only select these two ok so like that I think this is enough ok so this is done Pretty much like this part is done now. I just so this is the I need to do the flooring, the ceiling, and the wallpaper and the handle and the hinges. <laughs> I'll just keep adding it. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish this one here. And in the next one, I'm probably gonna finish the texturing. Let's just save it as a copy in the backup part. Uh, five texturing one. Let's just call texturing one. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.